everyone welcome back to my channel and today is the 15 to 17 week pregnancy update um i'm now well into my second trimester and getting rather close to halfway point so it is a bit weird um obviously we're going through the coronavirus outbreak here in the uk so i wanted to mention it slightly because it is affecting my pregnancy in the way of things being cancelled um we've been in lockdown for nearly four weeks now personally in our household um we took that earlier precaution than most just because we didn't want to risk anything anymore but you know what it's been up and down it really has today i'm in a really good mood i've got makeup on <laughs> i'm here but other days have been quite hard so i want to talk about it as a whole because it is the whole process for me um and yeah if you've got any questions or if you're going through pregnancy right now then please drop them below we're all in this together at the end of the day so week 15 to 17 has been a weird one um i can't really remember what happened in week 15 it just feels like the days are blowing into one a little bit but i definitely remember that week 16 which was last week was a bit of a tough one in some respects um mostly because a few things started to sort of set me off in terms of emotional emotional level um the main one being that our ultrasound has said that um we can't um, basically down there anymore so it means he can't attend the halfway appointment which sucks um it really is quite hard to get your head around not only from a perspective of this being our experience but also because it's not fair on the dads at the end of the day um you know they don't get to experience the pregnancy side of things anyway um and feel the kicks inside and stuff like that but yet they also don't get to experience this part now and at the end of the day in the nhs you only get two ultrasounds as it is so it is quite weird to get your head around that they might only see them once at the beginning and then at the birth yeah that's the main that was the main sort of niggle from last week um i had my call with my midwife um at 16 weeks which would normally be face to face uh she said that my bloods were all fine which is obviously good and there were no concerns um i haven't had any uh, blood pressure checks or urine tests or anything like that because obviously I can't go into the surgery which is a bit strange it does make you feel like is that okay but they know best and generally I've had the easiest journey I could have had so far now the sickness is all over I'm out of my first trimester and the first trimester is bloody awful it just I think it just knocks you for six because your whole body goes into this sort of like spin of like a whole new world of emotions and feelings and throwing up and just everything whereas second trimester it's like it's like how the weather is at the moment you go from like a storm to nice sunshine so it's that's literally how it feels and i'm feeling a lot better myself yes i've had a couple of days where i've wobbled um and i think that's only natural i think we're all going through that at the moment anyway but my hormones haven't helped because sometimes i'm just crying for the sake of it um, and I have literally no reason to. Last week I had to take a day off work because I just woke up crying. Literally raised my head off the pillow and started crying, which is very unlike me. I'm not a really an emotional person. It takes a lot from really to set me off. Um, so I'm kind of assuming that's all my related and just going with it. And what I did was take myself out of work that day. Luckily I'm still working from home, but I just took myself away and said, I'm not working today. I needed time out to be able to sort of look after myself and not stress myself out further because at the end of the day stress will now start affecting things so I just want to be as calm and collected as I can minus the hormones because it's like a battle with myself. The next thing really is just symptoms so I've had to say all the sickness is gone ever since we went into lockdown personally here in this house I have kind of got rid of all the sickness it's probably down to the fact that I don't get up until about 9am um, which is quite bad but it stops the sickness so i'm gonna go with it the second symptom has been round ligament pain which if you don't know and i didn't know it's basically like say where your legs kind of meet here um you can guess where i'm pointing at it's that sort of round you basically get round pain um around the around your bump because you're stretching and i'm quite a slim person and i think my body's going what the hell is happening and it's, i've got quite the bump on me already i think I'm, i think i'm quite big for my size so it's already stretching so naturally it's gonna hurt a little bit and sometimes if i get off out of a chair or a bed or toilet or something i just sort of go i have to sit back down or hover for a minute until the pain sort of goes away it's not painful it's just a bit like mm, that hurt okay try again so a bit weird um but it's manageable and 
having lots of baths and things to help ease muscles and whatnot. And then, let me just check my phone for the other one. I swear there was another one. Oh yeah, the obvious one is that the bump is getting bigger and heavier. So I will show you that at the end, as I did last time. But generally, all is well. I'm smiling today, so that's a good start. And yeah, there is no issues. I'm starting to feel something. It's not a kick. Um, I think they call it quickening. It's hard to distinguish because there's so much going on in there. But because I'm feeling something, I'm just assuming that's obviously the baby, not gas or anything else. And I think maybe in the next few weeks I'll start feeling like actual kicks as well. So hopefully that will be nice um, and that will come along soon. But other than that, there's nothing else to report. All is well. We're staying at home. Um, I'm just trying to enjoy the sunshine while it's here. So yeah, I hope you are keeping well. If you're pregnant, let me know down below. And if you're finding these updates interesting, also let me know. I am planning on doing a QA. and I've got the questions and I've got the answers. I just need to sit down and record it properly. So yeah, hope you're okay and I'll catch up with you soon. Now for the bump shot. So this is it with a jumper and vest stop on. Most of my clothes don't fit really anymore. But this is it. And I mean, it's, it's got quite round. I think it's quite high up as well, which is nice. And it definitely starts from like a chest upwards. You can't really tell standing on, but you can definitely tell from the side. <laughs> 